Okay, a short uh, video of my engaged turntable being operated uh, from an Arduino and an Adafruit motor shield. Um, the board there is a DCC interface which I've uh, constructed. It's a direct copy um, that I've taken off the internet from uh, the RM Web um, guy called Ray, uh, uh, username of Tender, I think. Um, he sort of brought it to the fore. There's a long thread on there. You can see it's driving a stepper motor uh, up to the um, up to the turntable. Um, basically, I'm using a Digitrax handset. Um, it's got uh, accessory uh, accessory 200 accessory switch 200. So if I just press the um, throne, we'll notice that the turntable starts to move. Should turn about 180 degrees. You can hear it's very quiet, very smooth. Nice speed, not too fast. Seen lots of these done in uh, OO gauge. Um, but I've not seen many in the uh, N gauge. So I'm really pleased, really, really pleased. I had a bit of a hassle, um, but that was because of a poor connection to my DCC, um, to the uh, track connection. Um, just coming to a halt any time now, I should think. There we go, it's got 180 degrees. So now if we run back to the um, to the switch and just send it to close. And I see it goes back the other way, another 180 degrees. So yeah, really, really, really pleased with it. So uh, in terms of cost, well, I paid about £19 for the Arduino, £17 for the Adafruit Motor Shield. Oh, those bits and pieces on there. Uh, well, I reckon um, not much more than £10, I don't think. Um, I bought um, a 12 volt stable um, supply which cost me about nine quid. So, and remember that you can set these up um, using the code for the Arduino. Uh, I mean, I've only got, I only need it to uh, turn 180, but you could stop it at 45 degrees. You could stop it at 30 degrees, with lots of um, exits and entries, as it were. Anyway, there you go.